As William K. Riley, our previous EPA administrator says, for years, people said that America has the cleanest drinking water in the world. That was true 20 years ago. But people don't realize how many new chemicals have emerged and how much more pollution has occurred. If they did, we would see very different attitudes. Well, at DePure, we're seeing a very different attitude as well. DePure is one of the only turnkey residential water treatment companies in the country offering a suite of products and qualified consultation to meet the most difficult water challenges. All of us have been bombarded with alarming news related to what ends up in our water. The Associated Press found that at least 41 million of us are drinking water that contains traces of prescription drugs. And now... Milwaukee cryptosporidium outbreak, post eye foil warnings, and of course, the garbage island. Oh, the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. It's mostly plastic, which doesn't biodegrade. It just crumbles down into smaller and smaller pieces. Patch now spreads across millions of square miles in the Pacific Ocean. The President's Cancer Panel has documented in a recent annual report that there are only 90 or so EPA-regulated contaminants, while there are more than 180 unregulated contaminants in our water system. In fact, there are thousands of contaminants that have not been tested. Water Technology Magazine points out that every few years, the EPA targets a contaminant candidate list, or CCL list. In September of 2009 alone, there were 116 substances added to that list. Water Technology Magazine states, the EPA and stakeholders looked at 7,500 substances before coming up with the final list of 116. Perhaps due to media attention, the EPA chose to add 10 more pharmaceuticals, one antibiotic, and nine hormones to the list, as well as two disinfection byproducts, five microbes, and a firefighting foam. The EPA is slow to respond to growing water challenges and documents that they cannot meet public health standards. Another consideration is that 90% of water usage is for utility purposes, which is why the water is treated to the level it is. To treat the 10% of water used in home to ideal human consumption, quality levels would represent a prohibitively large water bill for consumers paying for that luxury. To disinfect our water, the EPA has relied on chlorine and chloramines over the past century. Chloramines are a combination of chlorine and ammonia used in more toxic surface water sources. The EPA states that chloramines are typically used for the purpose of providing longer lasting water treatment as the water moves through pipes to consumers. This type of disinfection is known as secondary disinfection and chloramine use is closely regulated. More than one in five Americans uses drinking water treated with chloramines. These two disinfectants, endorsed by the EPA to disinfect water, are cost-effective means of dealing with many contaminants. But what about the side effects of these disinfectants? Chlorine, as you learned in our Designing Spaces segment, is one of the leading carcinogenic contaminants. Chlorine is especially dangerous in its gas form of chloroform. Be aware that when you shower in chlorinated water, that the chloroform enters your body through inhalation and mixes in the bloodstream, having potentially severe health effects. Chloramines have similar effects when showering. Chloraminated vapor from showers, baths, hot tubs, dishwashers, and other household appliances contain volatilized chemicals that can be inhaled and cause irritation to the respiratory tract. The toxic exposure to chemicals like chloramines in water is greater from taking a shower than from drinking the same water. Chloraminated tap water can also cause severe skin reaction and aggravate other skin conditions such as eczema and psoriasis. So, how do we deal with the challenges of utility and drinking water? Joe Harrison, quoted in Water Technology Magazine, technical director of the Water Quality Association, says, we welcome the EPA benchmarks to guide our product development and performances. He continues, there's no single point of use or point of entry technology 
that can address all emerging contaminants. And that is why DePure is ahead of the technology curve. To accommodate our customers, DePure's whole home systems step beyond petroleum-based solutions. DePure brings crystal and physical-based systems to meet a broader diversity of water challenges. These systems, married with drinking water systems like our Pure Blue three-stage reverse osmosis, offer you the best protection against contaminants, disinfectants, and their byproducts. This is where the evolution of product meets the evolution of water science. We consultatively work with our customers to offer a custom solution from our suite of systems to meet specific water challenges. For example, if you have chloramines in your water, we would recommend a system from either our zeolite crystal or physical treatment class of systems. Most water dealers in the industry are not outfitted with information or product to overcome this unique water challenge. With respect to drinking water solutions, the cancer panel states that chemicals like BPA and phthalate in plastic bottles make in-home point-of-use filtration better than bottled water. The best way to protect yourself is point-of-use filtration. The optimal point-of-use technology is reverse osmosis. At DePure, our RO systems will filter 95% of total dissolved solids. DePure offers NSF certified drinking water systems like reverse osmosis and dual stage plus.